Hi, this is going to be a summary of some of the tools and techniques that we went over today in class. So I'm going to quickly show snapping uh, to the grid and two vertices. Um, again, as a review, the hotkeys are the X key, the v C key, and the V key will snap. And if we create a quick object here, it's, it's definitely good to snap to the grid when creating objects. That will make sure that your object's uh, size will, um, it'll, it'll make it easy to connect uh, your object to other objects. So if we had some components of that object that were off alignment, it would be easiest to realign this if you held down the snap to points. So I'm holding down the V key and then I'm going to constrain to the axis and then aim the mouse at the vertex that I want to snap to. So that's a very quick way to uh, align that object. Or um, if I had other geometry here, I brought up these and then I wanted to match these to this height. I could do the same thing I just did and I'm holding down the V key and we've just snapped it. Okay, uh, so we've done snapping to the grid and now let's talk about aligning objects. So if we will make another object. If I wanted to center this cylinder to this object, I would go to the Modify panel and we'll go to the Align tool and we can simply align it. So now it's completely centered. So we could just bring this up. I could actually align it if I wanted to. Hitting the G key to repeat, I could align it to the top or side edges of the object. There we go, that, that was to align it to the top edge right here. Great. Okay, so we also talked about, um, well, I wanted to mention this retain component spacing. When moving vertices around and snapping them, um, sometimes you will snap them all in a group so I was holding down the snap to grid. Let me undo that and look at this from the top view. So if I wanted to snap these in all together, there is this um, retain component spacing. So if you had this off and you're snapping to the grid, they would all snap to a point. So having this on will allow you to snap a group of vertices or snap a group of uh, faces in a way that will allow you to retain the spacing in between those faces. All right, um, let's talk about the, uh, we talked about the cleanup tool, how it's potentially very useful for diagnosing if your object has triangles. So if what we did in class was we had a few edge loops and then we cut. It's also easy to see why using the split tool is great but sometimes can cause you problems. So now if we wanted to, if this was a very complicated mesh, we could go um, under the mesh cleanup options and say select matching polygons, four sided, and hit apply, and then invert that selection, and you would see which polygons were not four sided. So, as a diagnostic tool, very useful. It also has the ability to try to fix some of your meshes, although sometimes it's not, uh, doesn't work that well. Okay, we talked about face normals and if uh, displaying them. So 
So the fast way to do it, shift right click, polygon display, you can toggle face normals. They should be all facing towards the camera. If you find that some of your face normals are not facing the camera, you can go under uh, the polygons menu, normals, and you could try reversing faces or you could try the conform option which will try to make all the faces go in uh, the same direction across the topology. So I'm going to turn this off, toggle back face coloring, uh, toggle face normals. Great.